Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Well Can Apes Remember Their Friends? Read by Miranda Wilson Abstract There are cute stories of zoo-living apes that seem to recognize their former caregivers. They also seem to recognize familiar apes and tell them apart from strangers. But we don't know how detailed their memory is. We also don't know how long their memory lasts. Humans have good social memories, and other great apes are our closest living relatives. We wanted to know if long-lasting social memory is a trait we share with other great apes. We tested the ability of apes to recognize familiar individuals after spending years apart. We used an eye tracker to see how long apes looked at two side-by-side -side images of other apes. We found that apes looked longer at previous groupmates than at strangers. They also looked longer at groupmates with whom they had positive interactions. This helps us understand the evolutionary history of social memory in great apes. Introduction have you ever thought about how easy it is to recognize people you haven't seen in a while? Well, humans are good at something called social memory. It is when we can recognize and remember people in our social circles, even after many years apart. Humans can remember faces and names for decades. We can also remember information about people. For example, whether a person was nice or mean. Our social memory helps us develop relationships and navigate social situations. It can also help us avoid harmful interactions. But where did this ability come from? It turns out that other animals can also remember individuals. We don't know the extent of their abilities. Chimpanzees and bonobos are our closest living relatives. They have complex social circles. They also form friendships and communities. A good social memory could help them do this. We already know apes can remember familiar individuals for years. Unfortunately, we don't know how familiar they need to be. We also don't know if apes can connect social information with the individuals they remember. We wanted to know which features of social memory are unique to humans and which we share with apes. So, we tested the ability of apes to remember familiar individuals. This will help us better understand the evolution of social memory. Here are the four types of great apes. Bonobos are the smallest at 30 to 40 kilograms or 66 to 88 pounds. And gorillas are the largest from 140 to 180 kilograms or 310 to 400 pounds. They live in Africa and Southeast Asia. In the image, you can see chimpanzees at the top and then in a clockwise direction, gorillas, orangutans, and bonobos. Methods. We tested social memory in 26 chimpanzees and bonobos. They lived in three locations, Edinburgh Zoo, Scotland, Kumamoto Sanctuary, Japan, and Plankendal Zoo, Belgium. We showed the apes a pair of images on a screen for three seconds. We used an eye tracker to measure which image they were looking at and for how long. We showed apes paired images of former groupmates they hadn't seen in a while versus strangers or individuals they had never seen before. We decided to only include trials where the apes looked at both images. That way, we knew the apes were comparing the images to see which they recognized. Then we calculated a looking score for each trial. The score was the difference in time they looked at each image. That is, we subtracted the time they looked at the stranger from the time they looked at the familiar ape. We used statistics and a model to help us see if there were differences in looking at each image. We also had caretakers tell us about positive and negative interactions between groupmates. They told us which apes were more friendly with each other, which were more dominant, which were less friendly with each other, and how long the individuals had been separated. Then we looked to see if there were any resulting differences in scores. We also compared the scores of apes from the different locations. 
Here in figure one, you can see our experimental setup. In A on the left, you can see a chimpanzee in the left side of the image drinking juice while looking at a monitor towards the right of the image. The eye tracker records their eye movements. In B on the right, you can see an example of the paired images an ape sees on the monitor screen. Results. Apes spent 14% longer looking at former groupmates than at strangers. We found that apes also spent longer looking at groupmates who they had more positive interactions with. We saw that the amount of time the apes had spent apart didn't matter. One bonobo could still recognize her groupmates up to 26 years later. The apes from Kumamoto Sanctuary looked longer at the images. Kumamoto apes have done these types of experiments before, so they were probably used to the procedure. Figure 2 shows looking scores for bonobos and chimpanzees. The black dotted line indicates the apes looked at both images for an equal amount of time. Positive scores indicate apes looked at former groupmates more, and negative scores indicate apes looked at strangers more. In the graph, you can see the type of ape on the x-axis, with bonobos on the left represented by an orange dot, and chimpanzees on the right, represented by a purple dot. On the y-axis is the looking score in seconds. Looking at the graph, which species of ape had the highest looking score? Discussion. Apes seem to remember groupmates they have interacted with in the past, and they can do it after up to 26 years apart. Other animals like elephants, sheep, and seals can recognize individuals, but most of them have memories that only last a few years. Now we know apes have really long memories compared to other animals. Apes don't just remember individuals, they also seem to remember the quality of their relationships. They looked longer at individuals they had positive interactions with. This memory may help strengthen social relationships. In the future, we would like to look at more populations of apes. It would also be helpful to look at different ages of apes. We could see if social memory varies in young and old apes. Humans and other great apes share the trait of long-term social memory. This means that social memory may have been present six to nine million years ago. This is when the last common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees and bonobos lived. Social memory may have helped early humans form relationships. It could also have helped cooperation and cultural development. This would have been important as humans were spread out and saw each other less often. Conclusion Chimpanzees and bonobos have long-term social memory like humans, but all great apes are endangered. They are killed by poaching and deforestation. Now we know more about the social impacts of these things. You can get involved by learning how to prevent deforestation. Wood should be cut sustainably. It should also be certified by organizations like the Forest Stewardship Council. At home, you can also avoid products with ingredients connected to deforestation, like palm oil. Thank you for listening to this recording. This work has been adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal PNAS, published on December 18, 2023. Research conducted by Laura Lewis, Aaron Wessling, Fumahiro Kano, and others from the Department of Human Evolutionary Biology at Harvard University and the Kumamoto Sanctuary Wildlife Research Center at Kyoto University in Japan. See the full list of authors and their affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Please visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.